Jerry, the perfect response from Tuesday night. Yeah, I, listen, we, a few question marks get thrown at us when we lose a game and I can sort of... Um, I can see where Jose Mourinho's coming from a little bit this week because he's only lost one game of football we only lost one game of football. So um, it's, it's important we stay consistent. It's important we keep doing the right things, as I spoke about before. And with this group, one thing I've noticed is that we tend to bounce back really well after we lose a game. We were all so disappointed after the game at Eastbourne. But I think I said that I really do think the breaks affected us, and it did. Um, we had to manage the group right this week because we've trained, trained and trained, and then we had a game Tuesday. And um, we, did, we did a little bit of work, and, that, and then we've gone into this game, done a lot of homework on it, and um, it's a great response. It's such a convincing win. It could have been more, actually. Um, it could have been six, seven, eight, and um, really pleased. I picked a team with with a bit of experience, as you've probably seen, or a lot of experience, and there's a nice blend in there now, and um, really pleased to see Matt come in and do so well. Um, I was pleased for Watter up top, I thought he looked lively, and um, little OP, I was pleased he got his goal as well, because he's not been quite the same since he's come back to us, but that's because he hasn't been playing games, but he will get better with it. Um, he was like that when he first came into us, um, but he's a good learner, he's a good boy, and um, I was really pleased that he had an effect on the game and a really good finish after a flowing move as well. Yeah, open the floodgates right on half time as well with Sean Riggs' goal. Did that affect what you said during the interval? Not really. I wasn't, I wasn't overly pleased actually at half time. I thought we were a little bit loose at times out of possession. I didn't think our shape was good enough. Um, that's me being ultra critical on them, and I, and I can be. Um, but Sean, I was pleased for him as well. He's come in and he's, he's not played a lot of football, obviously, with his suspension. It's lasted a long time. So I was pleased for him getting a goal as well, and he'll get better with it. He was a little bit tight in his hamstring. That's why he came off. We had to manage him. Um, but yeah, we knew we knew going into the second half there'd be opportunities for us. It's a big pitch here, and we knew that the way we play, we'd be able to make it big, and be able to play in their half. We didn't play out so much today. I wanted to go and play a little bit longer and play in their half, um, but also move the ball with some speed up the top. And um, I thought it was it was an excellent all-round performance. You decided you two out and out wingers. You had them on their natural sides as well this afternoon. Mm. You had Jack Compton on the right, and he on the left-hand side created two goals this afternoon. Yeah, I just felt like we've become a bit predictable with that now, Mark. I think coming in and coming into narrow areas, um, we did it, as you know, over at, over at Chippenham as well. And I think now is the time for me to flip it back, not to say next one I'm not going to go the other way. Um, I just thought it'd be right that I wanted Opie getting at their left-back. I'd watch them against Dartford and I thought he'd be um, isolated and Opie would do a good job against him. And I thought I wanted Jack now shaping crosses in so that we got people going in the box and trying to get numbers in there as well. And it proved, proved, proved the right thing to do, really, um, because I think Tom Smith's goal is a really good goal. Jack getting to the byline, a little dink in the box, and Tom's arrived with a third-man run from a deeper area. So no, I was really pleased with all the goals. Andy Watkins pleased he got a goal as well and, um, and, and a really good performance. We need now to build on it because we put ourselves in a good position. Some of the results gone with us. Um, and there's no better game than top of the league coming to twerk and haven't next game. And yeah, sour points three today. Two defenders, you've got Kevin and Mike who are limped off and Anthony Straker, who's now got a one-match ban coming off. What's the latest with Kevin? Kev looks like he's tweaked his quad. Um, he felt it a little bit in the build-up to when he overstretched it. And um, yeah, he's... Um, He's struggling with that a little bit. We'll have a look. Hopefully, he's come off early enough and protected it. And obviously, with strikes, um, it's, it's an annoying one, really, because it's a penalty. It's an out-and-out -out penalty. There's no way he'd go down. He's gone past the defender. It's a penalty. The lads then clip strikes around the head on the floor, and strikes has stood up and reacted to it. Um, the referee's only seen the second bit. He's missed the first two bits. So, um, yeah, we're disappointed with that one. Strikes has got to not react to it, even though it's difficult. I've been in those situations difficult, but we'll have to, um, we'll have to do without him for a game now.